Hey, look, this is my old house. I'm about to have a new house. This one's old. Guess how much this whole thing costs, yo? This whole thing. The house, <laughs> the house I only paid $10,000 for. I built a house for $10,000. The wall, this wall <laughs> cost me $3,000. Come on, guys. Come on. We spend more than that on dumb shit. But you see, it's mine. No taxes. No rent. I have my own water. I don't pay a water bill. I have a well. My power, solar power. I had a smaller solar system. Now I got a bigger solar system. So I got my power. I got my water. I got my land. And guess what I pay a monthly? Zero. Nothing. I got my land over here. I got my land over there. I got more land out there somewhere. And I grow my food. Guess how much I pay? Nothing for the food that's produced on it. And I sell it because I got too much. Think about that. All of you can do that. All of you can do that. If you are in Nigeria in diaspora, you need to watch this video. This is an American Africa who came to Nigeria to explore Nigeria. And this is what he has to say. Watch this video to the end. What's going on, everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Good morning. Good morning. It's a nice, beautiful rainy morning in Nigeria, right? And I'm just walking down a path outside of my compound next to my land. And I just want you to take a moment, right? And just look at what I'm looking at. Just, just for a second. Now it's nice and quiet. There's no noise pollution. And it's Tuesday, okay? And I want for all my black folks to really start to reevaluate, especially in the era that we're in nowadays, to start reevaluating what is that you really want in life, right? Because in America, they say, hustle, hustle, hustle. Work, work, work. Kill ourselves for money, for paper, right? But what is the purpose of the paper? Because we see a lot of people, right? They work and they almost kill themselves to get this paper. But what do we, what do we do with this paper? They go and buy expensive things that they need more paper to maintain. Therefore, they have to work harder to maintain those things, right? They kill themselves 80 hours hustling and bustling so they can go put this paper in a, in a bank account and look at the number, right? And go to their really expensive house that they don't own because they own the mortgage, right? And they've paid two, three thousand dollars to have this nice thing, right? And then every so often, you know, from your hustle and bustle, you take a vacation. And where do you go on your vacation? Where most people go on a vacation to decompress from life? They go to a place that sounds like this. They escape life. To go to a place like this. That sound that for two weeks. At the most. Because you got to go back to work. Because America says hustle, hustle, hustle. Right? And everybody is hustling. But what do you, at the end of all of that, what do you got? Do you have peace? Wouldn't you rather reverse it? And make it so your life is a vacation. Wouldn't you rather spend more time in places like this? Like, for instance, let me show you. All this is mine. I own this. I even own part of this road, but I'm not going to tear it up because people use it. But this is mine. And all this greenery you see here, those are, that's food. I have ginger here. I have cassava. No, no, cassava is on my other farm. I have ginger here. I have um, peppers here. I have what you call greens, equivalent to like, Greens, you know, how we eat, you know, turnips and greens and stuff like that. I have, I have, uh, here. I got a whole bunch of food. It's so much food. The whole thing is just food, right? I have, um, uh, I think I got, um, I got yams here too. They haven't grown up yet, but like this whole thing is mine. 
all of this is mine. And there's no taxes. I have no monthly taxes. It is truly mine. I don't have to pay the federal government, state government. It's just mine. I can do whatever I want with it. I can put a house there if I want. And if I dig in this ground, I guarantee you I'll find water. Guarantee everywhere here is water. The dirt that you see on the ground in Nigeria, in Africa in general, the dirt, this is the best dirt in the world. I don't know why we belittle dirt. I don't know why we downplay dirt. Dirt is life. That's the earth. We need that. All right. And I like coming out here because the thing is, in the rural areas, right, you can still build because it's all natural. We like natural. We black people, we like natural. Right? There's no light pollution out here. There's no, the weather, once you get away from like the, the big roads and stuff with the diesel trucks, it's all fresh air. A peace of mind. You can be stress-free. You can come out here, right, you know. And you can build your stuff. People, you know what people do? They go, they, 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 they come out here, they buy a piece of land, then they go back to where they are, right? They get some money. They come back. They build a house, right? They may build half the house. Then they go back, make some more money. Then they come back and they finish the house. Then they go back to wherever they are. They go make some more money. Then they come back and they order all the amenities of the West. They get the, the, they get the, the, the furniture they want. They get the beds they want. They get the TV they want, right? They ship it here. They put it here. They set it up. Then they go back, right? They go make some more money. Then they come back. Then they get all the fancy fences and, the, and they buy a car and they may ship it over here, right? Then they go back, right? But over time, they would have accumulated all the comforts of the West that they need, that they need to survive, including like certain internet services and things like that, right? Once they get everything they they, they, they want, guess what? <laughs> they come in, they don't go back. You don't have to go back. You can set yourself up. So think about this. In America, how much money does it take for us to survive in a month? Just let's just talk about basic. Just in a month, how much money does does it cost to survive in a month? After you have purchased your house, you know, you got your car here. Once you buy it, it's yours. If I were to move here right now, right now, I could survive. I have a house. I have another house. I'm building. I'll show you all that next. I'm building another house. Um, I can grow. I can grow almost all my vegetables that I want to eat. Just right here. This is two plots of land. You want to know how much I pay for this land right here? I say it all the time in my videos, but I got to keep it fresh because, you know, YouTube don't rotate your old videos, right? I got thousands of videos. I pay $1,500 for two and a half plots of land. My land, it goes all the way back. It's pretty far. All the way back and all the way over there. $1,500. What's that in America? What's that? That's not even rent for most people. That's one month of rent in a one-bedroom apartment. I own actual land. Everything belongs to me. 100%. I could pass that on to my children. This is not rent for 99 years. I know some countries got that. All right? This is mine. I own it. In the courts. My name, court, signed. Can't be taken from me. Got my name on the blocks on the corner. All right? Everybody around here knows this is my land. All right? And just like they got their own land. All right? My house up here, compound, I got a big, huge wall. The wall I built here, if you try to build that in America, it'll cost you 40, about $40,000. It cost me 3000 So if you just think about it, you just prioritize how you spend your money. I'm not rich yet. I'm not rich. I'm a regular guy, regular middle class guy who knows how to use his money. All right? And if you just... Have the patience, just a little bit of patience, because we got we, we have this instant gratification because we're so stressed out in life, we want to instantly relieve ourselves. And, and we don't even think about that. Instantly relieve ourselves because that's how stressful our life is. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can have your own vacation spot. And listen, Europeans do it all the time. They go buy places in Italy, they go to places in Europe where, where the real estate is cheap, and they go build something. And they go back and forth. You can go back and forth. Be an international African. You don't have to permanently stay here. 
You can stay here winter. Do you like winters? You can literally skip winter. If you tell it working, set up your set up everything here. You skip winter. You ain't got to deal with that shit no more. It ain't good for you. Right? Come out here and get that vitamin D. Look at this. Look, the sky is full of water. This ground is always going to have water. Always. Look at that beautiful view. Look at that. Nobody's going to bother you. This place is safe, man. It's dangerous in America. This place is safe. Ain't nobody bothering nobody out here. Everybody chilling. You can... This food, everything is food. People grow food here. See, in America, we grow we grow uh, plants to look pretty. Right? The plants look pretty. But out here, they just grow food. It's just food. Mango trees everywhere. Like this tree here. Let me show you. That's a mango tree. I could just come out here when the mango's there. Bam. Mango. I got mangoes. It's just like that. You can you could just you can and then you can control like far as your children. Wouldn't you like your children to be in an environment like this? Wouldn't you like to have your children learn and be able to come home and be able to peacefully process information in a place where they ain't got to worry about nothing? Huh? Wouldn't you like it when your neighbors are nice? People actually greet each other, you know? How are you? Morning. Morning. Yeah. See, people are just nice. They're just nice, man. And people take advantage of the niceness. Look, the goats just chilling. People just chilling, man. This is peace. The goal, in life, the goal in life is to find peace. You're supposed to be working to build something peaceful so you can live the, your life peacefully. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Not hustling. What's going to happen when you get old? You know, you get old and you still going to hustle and bustle? You still going to be grinding? Why you want to grind? Nobody wants to grind. Why not be on vacation? Create create something more than just, you know, than just stuff that you got to pay for. When you can own, you can be an owner, you know? Look at damn goats. They're just random. Just these look, even the goats, man, they just do what they like. My homeboy here, right here, this is my neighbor. He's building another house right here. He's been working on this for a while. He's a driver. That's my dude. Right, you see these goats? You ain't gotta lock them up. They know where food is until they become food. They don't know that though. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. This is what we all really want. So if you can, and, and your country people, y'all know what I'm talking about. That's why country people don't like leaving the country. That's why, because it's a peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? It's a peace of mind being out in nature. This is organic, bro. It's organic. This is organic living. And I got my Xbox in there. I can go play Call of Duty right now. <laughs> Call of Duty be right there. I can go play my Apex. I can do what I want. You know, so I can I have I have a big big ass TV in my house. You know, I have all those things. You don't have to limit yourself. You just have to prioritize how you move. That's all you have to do. And just go back and forth. You don't have to African Americans stop going to Africa buying one-way tickets take the time go back and forth invest do it slowly do it slowly over time you know hey, look this is my old house i'm about to have a new house this one's old guess how much this whole thing costs yo this whole thing the house <laughs> the house i only paid ten thousand dollars for i built a house for ten thousand dollars the wall this wall <laughs> cost me three thousand dollars Come on, guys. Come on. We spend more than that on dumb shit, don't we? But you see, it's mine. No taxes. No rent. I have my own water. I don't pay a water bill. I have a well. You see this guy? When it rains here, it's like a water. It's like it's like the world's biggest waterfall. It's ridiculous. Fresh water, well water, not not pipe water coming through corroded, corrosive pipes. This is straight from the earth. The nutrients in the in the water is still. This is the best type of water you can get. My power, solar power. I had a smaller solar system. Now I got a bigger solar system. So I got my power. I got my water. I got my land. And guess what? I pay a monthly zero, nothing. I got my land over here. I got my land over there. I got more land out there somewhere. 
and I grow my food, that's how much I pay. Nothing for the food that's produced on it. And I sell it because I got too much. Think about that. All of you can do that. All of you can do that. All of you can do that. All you middle class people who think you can't do it can do it. Because guess what? Back home, I still got a mortgage. Keep this in mind. I have a I have a whole family and a mortgage in America. I got two houses in America. Two mortgages. I'm doing this. Think about this. I'm said I'm not rich, right? I'm 41 years old. I have two houses with two mortgages in America. A whole family to take care of. Continuous rotating bills. And like I said, I'm not rich now. And I still somehow manage to come out here and build an entire compound giant wall that would be ridiculously expensive if you tried to do that shit in America, right? I got land everywhere and somehow I don't have to work no more because I'm retired. And I'm retired on purpose because when I got out of high school, I knew there was nothing for me unless I made it myself. Since I was 17, I had a plan to make sure I was retired by 40, 45. And I executed that plan and I managed to do it by 41. And I knew what route to take because I knew what was what was realistic for me. You know, and I knew I wanted to do it. And I knew being rich wasn't going to be the way because everybody can't be rich. You don't have to be a millionaire to to do this. But I'm already rich. <laughs> you get me? I don't need YouTube to pay. Matter of fact, YouTube don't give me nothing. This is just social media for me. This is my passion. I turn this camera off. It stops nothing for me. Unlike a lot of other people who need the money. That's why they grift. That's why I don't grift. I do everything off the power of my own brow because I'm smart with my money. And all we have to do is be smart, smart with my, my, our money. And I'm telling you, we can all do it. All of us can do it. And that's what I'm trying to inspire you guys to know that we can all do it. All of you. And if you're not middle class and let's say you only making, you know, maybe, you know, you ain't making that much. Well, get with somebody you really trust your, your, your life home dog, your role dog, the people, you know, and get together. Y'all come out here and do this. Man, you get you and your a couple of your homies together, your your rider dies, y'all come out here and build some shit together. Y'all can y'all can buy some land and put four goddamn house. Y'all can have your own damn house and build a big ass wall around it. Y'all can buy some land and y'all can have some people come out. Look, I can go anywhere and get somebody to plant for you. Ain't even got to plant yourself. You just hire some local people, you pay them a, you know, a couple hundred dollars, they will plant all your land, anything you want. They'll come and harvest it for you and pack it up and put it and give it to you and put it right there. It's that simple. You just have to re change the way you think. Change the way you see things. We don't have to continue to do it the way the white Western world say. We can come back to Africa and do it the African way. You can be creative. You can be creative with the way you do things here because especially in Nigeria, because they will allow you to do it. This is your home. This is this is where you're from. This is what they stripped us from. This is what they took from us. This is what they took from us. This is what they took from us. Come get it. It's yours. The Nigerians are telling you, come get it. It's plenty for all. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. You can get your peace. And if Nigeria ain't the place for you, go to Ghana. Go to Tanzania. Go to Uganda. All those people will welcome you. Those are family. Come to Africa. This place is massive. This place is ma Any place you go in Africa, it's going to be like this. You don't have to live in a concrete jungle. Why you want to live in a concrete jungle? Yes, there's cities. You can go to cities. There's places in here just like New York. You can go there. If I want to go to Abuja, I can go to Abuja and get the same bougie I can get in any place in Maryland, any place in D.C. and New York. It's here. But look what you have access to. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? So that's all I wanted. To, that's all I wanted to show you. All right. I just want to show you, you too can wake up in the morning and go for a peaceful walk without air pollution, light pollution, noise pollution, people pollution. Have a peace of mind. And that's what it's all about, having a peace of mind. I think he has said it all. You need to start coming back to Nigeria and start investing. And if you're looking for someone you can trust to help you in that your next investment in Lagos, Nigeria, in, or in other states, then contact landproperty.ng. The number is the number. Contact us. Let's do business together. Home is home. No matter anywhere you go, you have peace when you come to Nigeria. Call us. Let's help you out. My name is Dennis Issa.